hey friends welcome back if you have seen my previous video you already know what i am going to build today which is a pvc tripod here i have uh, three pvc pipes 10 foot length each but they are of different diameters the smaller one in the left is half inch inner diameter and the one in the middle is three quarter inch inner diameter and the larger one in the right is one inch inner diameter on the side of the pipes the sizes are mentioned in inches inner diameter and millimeter outer diameter MMOD stands for millimeters outer diameter I am going to cut three 20 inch length pieces from each one of these pipes making a total nine section in three sets after deburring the edges the smaller pipe can slide inside the larger one and so on this is what I needed to make the retractable legs for easy storage just like any other tripod. To understand how the design would look like, I laid everything on the floor and then drew the design around it to get an idea about the height and the distance between the legs. I need to find a way to lock the pipes when they are extended so when it stands upright it will not retract otherwise the tripod will tip over. I made holes on the pipes above where I will glue two nuts with epoxy putty to make the locking mechanism. I took this fly nut that is used in cooking stoves because it has a separate nut and a bolt with it. However, I only need half of this bolt. Here you can see how I have used epoxy putty to glue the nut right above the hole so when I tighten the bolt it will lock the pipe inside from moving back and forth. I am going to use the fly nut as a knob and glue it to the bolt so that it becomes easy to turn it. The next thing I am going to do is make the holding mechanism that will prevent the pipes from coming out of one another. I took some measurements and then started drilling small holes on one side of the pipe. The holes are for tying a nylon thread or fishing line connecting head to head of each pipe so that when it's pulled it will stop at a certain point just like a normal tripod. The holes have a groove cut into it so that the thread stays flushed on the surface and doesn't prevent the smooth movement of the pipes. After the thread is attached perfectly, I twisted the smaller pipe 
to increase the tension in the nylon thread which makes it shrink in size. In this way I can adjust how much the smaller pipe comes out. Now the entire process is going to be repeated again with the 1 inch pipe and then you will have one leg of the tripod completed. After it's completed I applied a little bit of talcum powder on the surface of the pipe which makes smooth opening and closing. After going through the same process two more times all the legs of the tripod is ready. Here I am using epoxy glue to glue the fly nut with the bolt shaft. They are kept aside overnight to cure. After curing, I tried them on the tripod legs. I found out that the epoxy putty that I applied on the nuts in the tripod legs are not sufficient to hold the nuts and when I tightened the fly nut, it ripped off from the surface so I improvised. I applied more epoxy putty and also made a small dimple on the inner pipe so that it stays in the locked position. I have also added a secondary hole right next to the nut which is threaded and I can use another bolt to lock it if needed. It's just a backup if the primary locking fails. Now I am going to make the center hub which will hold the legs and everything else in this tripod. To make it I am going to use a 4 inch length 1 inch diameter pipe. After cutting, sanding and debarring it was ready. Along with it I will need 3 1.5 inch length and half inch diameter pipes. This will support the legs on 3 hinges. I am going to need 2 holes in each of these pipe sections. I am going to use wires to fasten them around the larger pipe through the holes I just made. I need to make sure that they are equally spaced apart and then I temporarily glued them with super glue. I am going to use epoxy putty to fill the space around. The surface needs to be sanded before applying the epoxy but I have a better idea as you can see. I am using my soldering iron to melt the pipes a little bit to make the surface rough. I am using here M seal epoxy putty or multipurpose seal epoxy putty. It's one of the most popular brands here in India beside other brands but you can use any type of epoxy putty it doesn't matter. I used a little bit of baby powder and rubbed it on the surface of the epoxy putty which makes the surface smooth. Ok so now let's get back to the tripod legs again. I'm going to make the hinge now. Be careful working with sharp objects and don't cut yourself as you can see in my finger a result of distraction. To make the hinge I need to make a notch on the legs which is about 2 cm or 3 quarter inch deep and 3 quarter inch wide as the smaller pipe has an outer diameter of 3 quarter inch. After cutting it with a hexo the hub fits in perfectly. So now I am going to make the holes for the hinges.
okay so the hinges are made and now I need to cut the excess hinge pin or in this case bicycle wheel spokes then I will use super glue to fix the pin into its place the only thing left now is the central pipe that holds the sliding support that limits the spreading of the leg and the sliding support itself I put the tripod fully extended on the floor to take some measurements I used anonymous objects around my working area as a weight to stop the legs from overspreading the fourth leg that you can see in the middle is just for support to make things more easily I drew a triangle on the floor to see if the legs are 34 inches apart or not and the pipe in the center is in the middle or not once it's confirmed I used epoxy putty to glue the 3 4 inch pipe with one side of the hub I repeated the same process on the other side but this time I don't need it to be fully extended After it's done, I cut two pieces of the 1 inch diameter pipe. One is 3.5 inch long and the other one is 4.5 inch long. The smaller one is going to be the slider and the larger one will be split in three equal parts and then used as a support with the slider. I will use aluminium sheet for making the hinges here. I don't have any other materials. The process of making the hinges is very simple, no big deal. I was able to make 6 of these in no time. Next I used a spare 3 quarter inch pipe as a jig to glue the hinges with the 1 inch pipe. I use epoxy putty here as well to glue all the hinges and after they are cured I moved on to the next step. I had to trim a small part of this pipe here which is a measurement error. I glued the support as well but this time I used epoxy glue which cures fast. Now I am going to glue the supports with the legs. These are the hinges that will be glued on the supports as I showed you earlier. I secured the hinge pin with rubber band to take some measurements. I am going to use metal wire here to secure it first. Then I will cover it with epoxy putty. Okay so finally it's almost done. The only thing left is to glue the slide stopper which is a piece of 1 inch pipe. I used super glue here to fix this pipe. To fix the rubber boots I used epoxy putty again to fix the nut in the pipe and then I screwed the rubber boots.
so guys this is how you make a tripod with pvc pipe don't forget to rate this video subscribe and share i'll see you soon in my next video till then have a nice day